and welcome back to Dolby Derps. I took a moment to try to fiddle with the HUD a bit. There should be a an, ident bleh, an identifier at the top of the screen saying whether or not I'm visible while sneaking. <coughs> I can't figure out why it's not showing up. And I dropped out of the menu and that guy decided to start shooting at me. So I killed him. And now we'll continue. See if I were a bad guy. I'd be set up in there. That guy's got a flamethrower. Thankfully, he couldn't hit the buzzer out of a barn. <coughs> I think that was an RCW. Yep, RCW. Which basically means a laser assault rifle. Egg timer. Egg timer. Actually, I should take the 9 millimeters too. I can slap them all back together and try to make better guns out of them to sell. I should probably be taking the armor too. I see you. According to the HUD, you're non hostile. you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit. Waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them. The powder gang is your sheriff. As I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Oh, that's just. Hmm. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal. I don't like you. Go away. I want to shoot him.
And time for some repairing. Okay. the wrong button. Nope. I think that's everything I can repair at the moment. Eh, weight didn't drop too much. Mm -hmm. yeah, for each one of those I drank, I also got one cap, so that's more money. 74% weight. Uh. Tasty, tasty mentats. Breaking and entering, breaking and entering. You like that? Did I mention I don't like gun or dynamite?
itty bitty quiet. I'm hunting powder gangers. I don't trust this in the slightest. Sleeping on the job. You're fired. Oh. I should have lit these bodies. Do you hear a whistling? I mean, other than how I was just whistling a minute ago. Up, oh, overloaded. Cowboy repeater. Upstairs or downstairs? Not way downstairs. Who's there? Why I am. Who's there? Just your friendly neighborhood ex murderer. No one you should be concerned about.
Oh, done in there. I think. I don't know what it was brought you to print. Damn it, I gotta stop interrupting that. I should really learn or read the thing that describes how to play that, too. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Your face looks like a sun-dried tomato. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Delivery order? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Why? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chest piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Me? I'd cancel. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Hmm. Weird. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. I don't know. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Yeah, some pissant stole my... Uh, package. See him? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yeah, he shot me. Go where he went. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Something I guess else. I don't have anywhere better to be. Oop, sell. Sure, have give me stuff. Sell off extraneous junk. Extra. No. Definitely now too heavy. No. Spare. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Um, I think I just sold my armor. Yep. Don't need that. I'm not going with energy weapons. What kind of ammo does that use? 
takes 308. So I could use more 308 if you got it. And of course not. Well, poop. <laughs> Done. Another satisfied customer. See ya. Howdy. Now put my armor back on quick. Oh, it's back on. Never mind. Hey, deputy dipshit. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace Yeah, I think they'd be upset if I put a bullet through his head. Probably. Sorry if it was too quiet. I just realized my microphone was pointing in the wrong direction. Can't really see it that well through the pop filter. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Where are you going, Captain Dipshit? Hey, lady. Uh, hello there. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. Eight years is a long time? What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. Uh... It's more appetizing than it sounds. I would hope so. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Yum! I want some. Gimme. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Uh, I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Yes, I will, because that sounds disturbingly good. I don't want to know about that. Why? Well, that didn't sound very good. You, Move you look along, interesting. Please. Jonathan Nash, you're not interesting. Who are you? You're a prim citizen. I want somebody... Oh, you got a gun. You're, you're just a random citizen. Random citizen. Mannequins. Prim Citizen. Prim Slim. Howdy. Howdy. I don't want to talk to you. Either. How about you? Ah, uh, you're Jonathan Nash again. Steve? Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you were still a-kicking. <laughs> Hoped you might show up here. You know your eyes are glowing. Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. You damn look like you came back from the man. dead. You know, you get a kind of intimidation thing going on there with those glowing eyes. I'll bet you do. The way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder Th uh, looking that out That sounded for you. painful. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Um, you're going to storm the gates of heaven? Maybe. Who are you and what's the job? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve. Yep. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild her. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town... And got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gomorrah. Uh. Hell yeah. 
Now, that's what we need around here. Somebody to take the damn Brahmin by the horns. That fucking beagle's a pussy. Yes. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brought back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that, you'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is in blueprints. What do you say? Uh, oh, what do I get out of it? I want a rocket launcher, and I want a new motorcycle, and, 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 I, I'll think of something else. A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. That works, too. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. If we can get some law in this town and get the old place fixed back up, we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. You know what that makes us? That makes us partners. You ever Ooh. wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Okay. Do I get to gamble for free? Do I get to accost the serving people for free? Um, sure. Well, hell far. I was right about you after all. Hell far, I knew it. Listen, it ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day just in case. Yeah, hey. Come back and see me when you got them prints and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck and be careful. Key? Oh, for the safe. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't be helpful. Bunch of ammo and a key. Whee! It's dark and scary in here. I think I killed everyone. Can I fix the elevator? No. Moving on up to the east side. Deluxe apartment in the sky. Is that copyrighted? I don't know if it's copyrighted. I should probably stop singing in case it is. Um, aid. Books, 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 magazines. Uh, ha ha! Yay! I don't get any AQF. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, like I have the mod that makes it much easier for me to hack. I've got a mod that makes it much easier for me to... Or, I have one that makes it easier to lockpick and one that's easier to hack. Normally, there's a whole bunch of different words hidden in here where instead of now, there's just one. Again, it was a pain in the ass because you had to click on one, see how many letters were right, then click on others, see how many letters were right. Yeah, pain in the ass mini game. I don't, really don't like the mini games. Anyway, disengage lock. I am home. Ooh, maintenance key. Ooh, Red X. I hope the sound of the neighbor's kid's electric toy isn't too loud. Well, I can hear it clearly through my headphones, so you guys might be able to. But it's very warm in my room, so I have my window open. What is my lock picking? Stats, skills. 
skills. 41, so I need 10. Haha. Steve, I got the blueprints. Want to give me money now? Steve. 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 Please. Shut up, Pit Slim. Steve. 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 From the look on your face. Great job. It looks like we should be able to salvage enough material from won't be much. Some of the town folks are itching to get to work. The sooner we get a new sheriff, the sooner we can get to cracking. Think you can help? Come see me when you get us a new sheriff. Um. <coughs> uh, where's deputy dumbass? Either. Hello Dingleberry. Again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Oh no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. You're called moron. What are the qualifications? Um, we gotta have a tin star and a gun. Really big one. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Sure, why not? You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated um, by the NCRCF I'm not sure the deputy to gets to interview the sheriff. Guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Howdy. Why, hello there. Um... Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance. Ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. System runtime error. Unable to. What do I need? I need three vision batteries and four conductors, or one more point in science. Happy trail. Actually, I think some Mentats will help that. Unfortunately, they're a possibly very addictive substance. So, not food, Kim. Yep. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. Trail. There. Ooh, level up. Uh. Five more points to put in something. Speech. Um, normally I'd only be getting, uh, perks one every two levels, but, uh, 
Project Nevada, one of the mods I've got installed, one of the major mods I've got installed, has an option to change how often you get perks. So I decided to get one every level because, well, I like perks. I'm going to do that because I can. Howdy. Go talk to Deputy Dumbass. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. What's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. Slim's all right. I don't wish him no harm. But the law to him is a set of logic. Not everything is black and white. Not sure a robot can ever understand that. Hey there. Steve! 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 Steve. Well, let's hope this new sheriff fares Hello, better demon than the last one. And God help us yeah. if there's anything like that retard beagle. That man couldn't find his own ass sitting on a toilet seat. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping out the town. We got a lot riding on this. And let's hope that things stays peaceful around here for a while. We's got work to do. Okay, what's next? Well, now that we got a new sheriff, the workers can finish the demo and start getting the inside fixed up. Glad these town folk need something to do, because with all the <coughs> help we got, it shouldn't take too long. But the next thing we need to do is get all the lights installed and back on. I think we can scrounge up plenty of the basic lights from around the hotel, but I just don't think anything we can dig up will work for the casino. For that, we just need something a lot nicer. I've been going through some of Grandma's journals, and I found something interesting. Looks like old Buck Brunson had some lights ordered from some feller up in Vegas, but I ain't never heard of him. If we can find him and turn in this here order, they should be ready to ship if I read this right. Old Buck's niece, Anna, might know who this feller is, so you need to hightail it up to her and see what she knows. You'll need this password to get inside. Just tell Anna I sent you, and she'll trust you. We go way back. Now you spell trust. Hey, one last thing. Be sure and bring me a receipt. Don't know if we can trust this fella or not. Okie dokie. Um, actually, I'm nearly at 40 minutes, so that will be it for this session. <clears throat> Hope you're enjoying the play. I should probably banter a bit more, but eh. I should also let them talk more often. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed... Where are you going? You're probably going to go start demo. Or whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you later. Bye bye. Sure, you go gamble.